Good evening, everyone. I'm sorry, Ellen Sutter of ESP Presents and ESP Book Chats, where we bring page turners your way. Is this going to act right? I guess it's not. I'm going to take those off. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? I am coming on so I can let you know what is upcoming. Also, tomorrow is Scout Out Shout Out. I'm going to do it a little early. I have two events tomorrow. I'm thinking. I am thinking. I do have two events coming up. And tomorrow, I'm looking at that. That is the 13th. So that is good to go. I have so many things scheduled. Uh, I know on the 15th, uh, let me just go there. But tomorrow... I'll come on uh, regular time, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is for the Scout Out shout out. Any of you authors are out there, just come on up. As I said, newly published season, it doesn't matter. Have book in hand. If you don't have your book in hand, know your story. And what I will do, I'll do the uh, three to five minute impromptu questioning you on your book. Keep in mind, I've never read your book. I'm just going to ask you a question based on you engaging with me about your book. And that is what this is all about. A lovely pages, your lovely pages. I'm getting a message up there. This is all about your lovely pages. And we want to know what is going on in your pages. Just like there is a song, all kinds of music, all kinds of genres. There's all kinds of genres of books. If you out there, just come. This is a free segment, but we do have a paid segment. But this one, three to five minutes. And you might say, what do I sign up at? You can email me at Mrs. Suds. That's if you go to the email. Some people don't. At Suds at yahoo.com. That's Mrs. Suds at yahoo.com. M R S. S U D D S at yahoo.com, and you can say, I want to be a part of the scout out shout out in the uh, subject heading, or on this feed that I'm on right now, you can say, I would like to be on the scout out shout out tomorrow on IG. I will look back at this feed. But do not hold seats. Do not say, I'm going to be there. And you're not there. That's holding seats. Don't hold seats. Come and be there. And share what you have. You cannot say, as we always say, you cannot say that ESP Presents have not given you a chance to see what you got. And those who have been following me, you know, not too many people that are new writers can get in the door. Because nobody knows you. So I don't care if I don't know you, just come on on and uh, tell me who you are, where you're from, and what's the title of your book, and we just get into it. I don't care, like I said, if you just drop your book, <laughs> Amazon just hand you your book, you just open it up, you can still smell the pages, I don't care. Just come on and let's talk about your story. It'll be a three to five minutes. If there is others, I take five. It's a room for five seats. I will take up to five people. We go three to five minutes. It's a one hour show. So that is happening with the scout out, shout out. So just sign on, show up and show out. And so this is really the reason why I do this is so that young authors as well as seasoned authors with their new release, people want to hear a book. Sometimes they don't want to open it up and read it. You have people who are avid readers, casual readers, book collectors, and they never read the book. So when they see you, the author behind the pages, they go, oh, I just seen that author on Instagram talking to Ellen, and, and they may go out and purchase the book. I can't say that they will, but at least they've heard your story. So that's what's going on tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If I don't get anything on this feed, then I'll just come up and just talk about what we're going to be doing. So that is for the Scout Out Shout Out Talk. 
Also, we do have Melvina Gray. We've had her story for quite some time. And her story is titled Combat Related PTSD. It is the Willie Gray story of her beloved husband who suffered severely from PTSD due to combat in the Vietnam War. Uh, what we're doing with her now, we took, uh, it was called Wisdom. What we did, we took, uh, thank you to April Thomas, phenomenal. She is an author. Um, she works with me on putting out Melvina's audio. And what, and if you're here or you're listening to this, April Thomas, you have been a great SS to our company. Uh, what she's done, April, she took our audio. Hello, Maya J presents. Thank you for coming on and thank you for listening, sharing, swiping. I just appreciate you being here. And uh, Melvina Gray is who I'm talking about now. Her book is titled PTSD and her book is um, her story of her husband who suffered severely from PTSD due to uh, combat in the Vietnam War. She decided to stay with her husband, although he had severe uh, PTSD. She lived with him until his transition and she decided to write a book. And so she wrote it and then she put it into book, wrote it on paper, put it into book form. Actually, this is the best PTSD book, PTSD book I've read. Other books I've seen that is informational. So I've only known about PTSD informationally, but never heard of a story about PTSD where the wife is telling us from her perspective what was actually going on in the marriage. And so we have some videos going around every Tuesday, which tomorrow will be Tuesday. We will release one of those videos. And as I was saying, April Thomas, what she did, she gave video to this audio. And so you guys will see a visual video that goes along, that she matched along with what's going on. And that will be circling around. So that will be for the, we did the six and now it's the, today is the 12th. And then we'll do one more video next week and the fourth would be a live video with um, Melvina Gray. And we'll be on StreamYard. And I think April will still have it streaming from um, YouTube. And it'll be a live video. So uh, Maya J, if you're there, it will be a live video where you can ask questions. And so what we're doing is there are three audios tape well three audio um videos it's audio and it's a visual visual with it like i said april she put it together so the first one is already out i will share it again on here um and you guys can take a look at it the question i asked her was what was it like for her um after her husband transitioned what was it like to raise her son at the time that her husband transitioned, her son was 13 years old. So you guys can listen to that part one and part two will come out tomorrow. It's a very short video. I know we live in a time that people want to hear it at zero 19 seconds, <laughs> literally, <laughs> but it's that short. It's not that long. I think one of the longest we did is about two minutes, maybe three. And so we live in a fast paced world. And like I said, uh, Melvina, we will do our last talk, which will be summing up the three uh, part um, audio that went out and you guys can gather your questions, you know, what she was saying. And then on the 27th of August, what we'll do is we'll ask Q&A. So I am going to put one video one there because video two will come out tomorrow. And hopefully you guys enjoy and we'll be asking questions. On the 12th of September, we will have uh, Dr. Surgeon. He's a surgeon, Brian H. Williams. And this is his book here. 
I will have him live here September 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is his book, True Story, The Bodies Kept Coming. And this story is a story of, um, it is a story of a dispatch from a black trauma. Hey, how you doing? From a black trauma surgeon on racism, violence, and how we heal. And his book, I haven't read it yet, but we're going to be reading this. Hey, hey, hey. And this book here will tell us, we this happened way, way back in the day where uh, I'm not saying that this is coincide with this, but I can relate to it back in the day where a person of color, if they needed surgery, they just let them die. So in this case, I'm not saying, I'm not quote saying it's the same, but I can see the, the narr narrative that they said, you know, like he said, on surgeon on racism, violence, and how we live. And this was during the pandemic time and different things like that. So you will see him live. He is a doctor surgeon, black surgeon. So I'm going to take my time. I know it's going to look back backwards, but you guys go to Amazon or wherever you get your books from and look for this book. The bodies keep coming. Um, he had a uh, interview uh, with like TV, television and all those different things like that. And uh, he has a great bio so i'll just put that bio there his bio and um just a little bit here uh dr brian h williams is an air force academy graduate a harvard trained surgeon a firm former congressional health policy advisor and a national nationally recognized leader at the intersection of public policy policy and structural racism, gun violence, and health equality. Equality. He has treated gun violence uh, victims for more than two decades. Williams has served as a Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Health Policy Fellow at the National Academy of Medicine and as a professor of trauma and acute care surgery at the University of Chicago Medicine. William and his work have been fe featured in outlets like the Chicago Tribune, Dallas Morning News, CNN, and News uh, Week. And he is on um, Twitter, he is on IG, link in and you guys can catch him there but you will catch him live here i am excited to be interviewing him here on instagram let's see that's probably better and that is mark your calendar september 12th at 8 p.m eastern standard time if you want uh, hopefully you guys will join in in the q a it will be q a so if you get the book early i not sure if it's on Kindle, but here's the book here. It's a good price. Uh, go look that out. You guys could be just in time to get in with the Q&A as I interviewed him. I'm so excited to, to have him. It's going to be here live. Also, we in the fall, these books that I'm going to show you in the fall. And so we'll talk to April Thomas, wonderful April Thomas. Her book is titled Toxic. The Double Cross. This is the book that we are featuring, and this is the book that we will talk to April Thomas. Can't wait to get into this book, and this book, Money, Power, and um, Rayvon Ivory Wanted It All. The problem, uh, Karina, her best friend, was in the way, experienced a grippling tale of envy, deceit, and betrayal in Toxic, The Double Cross, and this is by again april thomas so guys here's the book again if you'd like to go out and get that just in time before we do the interview here is the book so that is in the fall also we're gonna have uh suzette perkins she's paving the way with this book already 
And this is the second book titled Black Diamond. And the sequel, the first book is Fallen Leaves. And this book is the sequel. You have Gypsy, Reese Gypsy, uh, Shaka Ford, Life, a 360. Uh, she found love and eventual, eventual walk down the aisle. While being a major contributor to Black Lives Matter movement, Gypsy discovered that the movement is alive across the globe, fighting for the cause in both uh, hemispheres comes with casualties. However, when it hits home, Gypsy's backyard, the toll is great and affects the lives of her family. If that's not enough, she must return to her hometown, Fayetteville, uh, North Carolina, for the pending trial of the officer who is accused of contributing to the death of her sister, Taylor Russell. So that is this one. And um, Fallen Leaves kind of kicked this off, and this goes into the sequel. You will see that. And also, uh, we do have a promotional show. It's uh, it's not the Scout Out Shout Out. So we are ESP Presents, which is the business side, and ESP Book Chat is the book club side. We are doing two uh, shows. One is a night show that is um, valued at $250. That's when you have three shows. And this is at night only, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in a different time zone, we will come on at 7 for you because um, that will be, well, 8 is 7 your time. Uh, depending on where you're at, we will do your time zone. And so it's $250, three night show. Uh, we give you the schedule. We don't let you schedule. We used to do that back in the day. And we say, hey, what day you want to do it? It never worked. It was always pushed back. So these are time sensitive. We give the dates out to other um, clients, if you will, or other authors who may want to lock in. Now with this, you lock in first your $250. We used to do advertisement and everything before thing came in. Nope. Not anymore because people will send stuff and not have the show and we've advertised everything. So we're not doing that anymore. You lock and reserve your seat for $250. That's a three night show. We schedule, we, it's on our platform. You could either do a Instagram, Facebook, or which is audio noon vibe, which was formerly uh, called wisdom. And so let's say you just might want to do all audio. The, this this platform and all the other platforms are global. So when we're on our our audio only show, there is people there listening. They may not their callers that are listening. They might might not necessarily engage, but they are listening, and they may type in. So that is people from London, uh, England. Africa, so you will have a global of people listening to you. And so if you want that only, you can choose only uh, Instagram or only Noonvibe or only Facebook. You have the choice to choose that if you like. Again, things are paid for up front. You lock it in. Let's say, and there are no refunds. Let's say that you can't commit to that date, what we do, and that is if things are available because dates are, are given. And once they're paid for, let's say you wanted uh, a date. If you have not locked anything in, meaning locked and reserved your seat, that date is going to go to someone else because you did not lock it in. These are for people who are serious about their business and who wants to lock in and to have that show. And what we do is we read the first 10 chapters of your book, we get an engaging uh, conversation. Uh, it'll be chapter one, chapter two, but we'll have enough in there not to give the story away. We choose to do it that way because I'm nosy and you are too. And we don't want to uh, give the story away. We want you to read the story. And that's what we do. But we do finish the book. We do finish the book. Give us a little bit of time because we have sometimes six and seven books to read in one month. 
And so we read some of the chapters, but we certainly finish the book. You get an, the uh, book review. We like to call it the book review because we're not interviewing you. We're interviewing your book, your characters, what you're doing, what you like. I didn't like that character. What, what are you doing? In that? What did you mean to say? You know, I, I didn't like this character. I felt that this character was the underdog was was the greatest. You know, just different things like that. We really dive, deep dive into your book. And so that show, again, is $250. It's a three-night show. And you get your your interview. You get your um, uh, book, an honest book review. I don't care if you're my sister, my cousin, twice removed, the president of the United States. If your book is a three, it's a three. And you cannot pay me to do otherwise. And someone did ask me that question before. Are you a paid review? I thought they meant, are you a paid review? Yes, I'm a paid review. No, do you? Nope, I do not. You can't swindle me. You can't pay me to give you an, uh, a five. It is totally my experience. But it doesn't mean that your book wasn't good to somebody else. And so when we read your book, you need to know who is your audience. You know, need to know who you're writing for. Like, for example, I don't do erotica, but if you have a book that's erotica and you write something else, I'll do that. You're the same author and you're doing that. Because I don't know how to engage like that. And so you want to have that audience. So mine is, we do romance, we do uh, Christian fiction, we do um, uh, some bio. Bios take a little bit of time to read because it's not a novel. So we're working on one now and we're almost finished. It took took a took a moment, okay? Because it's not a novel. And so we want to read that that bio. We want to make sure of what we're saying, what we felt at that time about you cuz everybody just don't want to read your bio. Just saying. And everybody just might not like to be doing a show with me. Just saying. And that's okay. Cuz everybody is not going to like us. Just saying. And so, again, it is $250, three shows, engaging shows, and your books stay on our page. We also have another, which is a one-day show. Choose one of the three platform, one or, not all three, and that is uh, that show could be done uh, in the morning or evening. So if you want a 10 o'clock show, we do that, but that's on our audio. And so through the week, usually on Instagram or somebody like something like that, they, they, you guys generally like evening shows, just saying. So that show, we have the one day show, which is $75. You do get your honest book review. You do get, um, your book stay on our page and, um, you get a one day again, we give you the calendar dates. You can move them around if they are available. There's no refund. So $75. We are looking for nine people who are ready. You can plug yourself here or you can email me at mrsuds at yahoo.com and be ready. So if you email me, I'm thinking you want to do a show. Don't just email me to look at. I don't want to look at. I want you ready to go. I don't want to look at your book. I want to lock you in, engage with you in your book, and have a wonderful deep dive conversation. Do not hold seats. Again, you have to reach me in time. There is no refund on either. But dates can be moved around since you locked it in with the payment. And maybe it might not be that month you want it to be in. The following month may be wide open and you can lock yourself in there if available. Okay, let's see what else. On the 15th, we, um, we meaning Andrew Johnson of The 313 Men marriage, men, money, and marriage, he's going, I, I'm going to be his co-host, and we're going to talk about Tyler Perry's movie, we're going to deep dive, y'all, talk about Tyler Perry's movie, uh, 
the voice in the black. We're going to just dissect that. I cannot wait. So that's on the 15th. Um, we're going to kind of play around with the, with the platform because he's, he's got different shows that he do that kind of, um, uh, sync together. That's the best way to say it. And so we're going to talk about that. And then who's going to be on the show with us is the very wonderful Wendy Arsad. You guys see her here. She's in the book club as well as Queenie Clem. I know she's there. And Queenie has been busy, busy, busy with her shows. But thank you for whenever you can be on our show. Also, uh, it's going to be uh, the movie by Tyler, Tyler Perry, uh, The Voice in the Black. We, Like I said, we're going to dissect that up. And also April Thomas, author April Thomas, is going to be there as well. So we're going to take some good notes. We're going to dissect this. It's going to be some, oh, oh no, you didn't. <gasps> but I did say on X, formerly known as Twitter, that I thought that Tyler Perry's movie was a masterpiece. And the reason why I say that is I think personally that we may not want to see ourselves uh, a black man with trauma. We don't want to talk about that. And so there's a lot of things in that movie that we just didn't look at. Some people say they didn't like the movie. I absolutely enjoyed the movie. But there's some things we're going to talk about. That Bird Train family. Mm! I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the Bird Train family. There's going to be some different things. So um, Andrew and I, we're going to do a little uh, snippet run. Uh, not really talk about too much, but kind of let you guys know where we're going to be at. I'm trying to see what is... Oh, okay. So that $75 uh, one-day show, it is valued at $135, but we're going to put it at $75. So we're looking again for nine people to fill those slots. And again, you must lock in to reserve it. And we do send you out an application to your email. It is in simplistic. Please read it. It is so simple. Some people overlook it and they're not sure of what I'm asking them for. And it's already spelled out, but they just overlooked it. So it asks some pertinent uh, questions and just follow the prompts and email it back to me. You can copy and paste, email it back. But again, Nine people who is ready. Remember, I don't want to look at. I want you ready. And be ready. Again, see you guys tomorrow. If someone wants to be a part of, do uh, put yourself in here. Say I want to be a part of that. So, uh, Naya, if I said it right, J presents. If you are there, I'm going to press you. If you can't come, you just can't come up. Just give you a good quick glimpse and uh so you're looking from a different uh let's see you're looking from a different place so you guys are probably just looking on but thank you guys for coming in ten tenable if i said that right tenable music music urban i hope i said that right queenie queenie i know you guys are just looking on thank you guys for being here thank you guys for listening do uh do the replay those who do this replay thank you so much those who want to do a scout out shout out share this video out you could either put your name here or just go to mrs suds at yahoo.com and right there so i will always be up here even if there's no one here but you can come on any tuesday but the reason why I say sign up is because I would see people in the feed. I'm calling this the feed where the comment section is. And they are authors. And when I press them, they're not ready to come up. So I learned to avoid all that. Let me know you want to come up. And I will be here uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. Be ready. Be ready. I don't care if you've been up here 15 times already. Be ready. 
Thank you guys again, Ellen Sutter of ESP Presents and ESP Book Chats, where we bring page turners your way. Thank you for your time, your data for watching at this moment, sharing and swiping and sharing. Thank you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.